Hello everyone, this is Richard G, and it is time to start a new series. As you can see, we are going through Explorers of Sky of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. Arguably one of the best Mystery Dungeon games that's ever been created. So, let's get this new game on the road. Let's see who we get stuck with this time. Welcome. This is the portal that leads to the world inhabited only by Pokemon. Beyond this gateway... Many new adventures and fresh experiences await your arrival. Before you depart for adventure, you must answer some questions. Be truthful when you answer them. Now, are you ready? Oh, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Then, let the questions begin. Did you play Explorers of Time or Explorers of Darkness? Yes, uh, I went through Explorers of Darkness. You fail miserably. Everyone found out and they're disappointed in you. What do you do? Honestly, I'd try to think of an excuse. Your friend suddenly won't listen to you when everything was fine yesterday. What happened? I'd be confused, like, what? Why? You're daydreaming. When your friend sprays you with water, what do you do? Woohoo! Water fight! You're picking you're packing your classmates or classroom snacks for a picnic when you get hungry. What do you do? I'd hold myself back, but I'd be very hungry in the process. You notice that a toy you bought for a full price yesterday is marked down to half price today. How do you feel? Ah! <laughs> do you think it's important to always aim to be the best? Like no one ever was. What's your studying style? Um... Honestly, if I remember to. Do you like lively parties? Oh, yeah. Male or female? Hmm. Male. <laughs> a, little, a couple extra seconds to think about that. And now, my aura will be analyzed. Your aura is the energy that you radiate. Relax. Calm yourself. And now, press your fingertip gently on the bow. That's right, stay perfectly still. Take a deep breath, and now exhale. Your aura has now been identified. Lift your finger from the touch screen. Your aura is... A brilliant green. Thank you for answering all those questions. You seem to be the sassy type, or at least somewhat sassy. <coughs> I'm sassy? Okay! You don't like taking orders. You're real, you're a little rebellious and like to disagree. Damn, they know me so well sometimes. Some days I am like that. You're a lone wolf. You like to keep distance from groups and go off to do things on your own. Sometimes, yes. Older folks may be the ones who find you the most disagreeable, even selfish. Um... I don't know about that part. But people younger than you tend to really admire you. I ain't that the truth. In real life, I have little kids all the time coming up to me wanting to play. It's like, do you realize the age gap here? So, a sassy type like you will be real. Ah! You know, I ask why I have to endure this? No. No. Why? I don't like Lucario or Riolu, and I just got stuck with Riolu. Oh well! <laughs> oh no! And finally, who will be your partner? Choose the Pokemon you want for your partner. At least this one I get to choose, but why Riolu? Oh no! Um... Looking at the options... I'm going between Piplup or Chimchar, honestly. I like these two. The rest... Because it's Gen 4. This is a Gen 4 game. I'd like to go with the Gen 4 teammate. So, it's kind of between these two, I think. Let's go Piplum. I see great things in you. We'll just 
just go with the name Piplop. Okay, that's it. You're all ready to go. You're off to the world of Pokemon. Be strong, stay smart, and be victorious. Chapter 1, A Storm at Sea. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, are you okay? No! Don't let go! Just a little longer! Come on! Hang on! N no! I can't! Hold on! Whoa! Maybe Lombre should go to this stormy sea. I will never let that down. I will give Lombre all the crap. Except he's not in this game. Ugh. Where? Where am I? I can't. Drifting off. Hmm. No. I refuse to be paralyzed by this any longer. This is it. I have to steal my courage today. You know, if that was Empoleon, that'd be a pun. Just gonna throw that out there. Pokemon detected. Pokemon detected. Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint is Piplops. The footprint is Piplops. Wow! That was too shocking. Whew. I can't. I can't work up the courage to go in, after all. I told myself that this is the day, but... I thought that holding on to my pre personal treasure would inspire me. I just can't do it. I'm such a coward. This is so discouraging. Hey, Zubat. Did you get a load of that? You bet I did, copying. That little wimp was just pacing around. Had something good, right? That wimp had something, that's for sure. It looked like some kind of treasure. Do we go after it? We do. I love this. This music is always so calming, and yet you only hear it, I think, two times ever in the game. Krabby, use bubble. But it's pretty. It's like a kind of... I guess, well, it's more for a contest, but this is vision. Oh, wow. What a pretty sight. When the weather's good, the Krabby come out at sundown to blow bubbles. All those bubbles catching the setting sun's rays off the waves. It's always beautiful. This is where I always come when I'm feeling sorry for myself. But it makes me feel good to be here, like always. Coming here is uplifting. It cheers me up. Hey, what's that? What's going on over there? Whoa! Someone has collapsed in the sand! What happened? Are you okay? You're awake! That's a relief! Where? Where am I? You weren't moving at all. I 
I was seriously worried. Do you remember how you ended up unconscious out here? I... I was unconscious? What happened? Well, I'm Piplop. Glad to meet you. And who are you? I've never seen you around before. What? You say you're a human. You look like a totally normal Riolu to me. It's true. I've turned into a Riolu. But how did this happen? I don't remember anything. You're a little odd. Are you pulling some kind of trick on me? You're telling me the truth. All right, then. Your name? What's your name? My name? That's right, my name is... We'll keep it a little shorter than last time. Just plain Richard will, do, will suffice for this one. Because gee, it's getting annoying after putting that letter. Oh, Richard is your name. Okay. Well, you don't seem to be a bad Pokemon, at least. Sorry that I doubted you. More and more bad Pokemon have been turning up lately, you see. Many Pokemon have gotten aggressive lately. Things have grown somewhat lawless. Ouch! Well, I do beg your pardon. Hey, why'd you do that? <laughs> Can't figure it out? We wanted to miss it, you. Can't face up to us, can you? W what That's yours, isn't it? No, that's... Sorry, kiddo. We'll be taking that. Ah! Whoa-ho-ho. -ho. Not gonna make a move to get it back? What's the matter? Too scared? I didn't expect that you'd be such a big coward. Come on. Let's get out of here. See you around, chicken. <laughs> What should I do? That's my personal treasure. It means everything to me. If I lose that... No! There's no time to waste! I've gotta get it back! Hey, can you... Hey, can I get you to help me? Uh, sure? R really? You'll really help? Th thank you. Let's go quickly. It's on. Also, why is Piplup running faster than Riolu? Head for the stairway. As you go, you can attack enemies by pressing A. Enemies won't move or act until you do. Alright, now first thing we should do... Yes, I know I have no items, but, uh... Probably should change my options a bit. Touch screen. Use anywhere, I guess. Top screen. Let's see. Map and team. That sounds pretty good. Bottom screen. Sort of shaded map. Oh, no, not shaded. Clear map. And maybe we could do up here team stats. Let's see how that looks. Grids on, speed, fast. Far off pals look, damage turn, yes. And yes. Okay. This should help us out a little bit. So let's see, what are Riolu's moves? I need a refresher, because I've never used Riolu. Endure a quick attack, force sight, and bite. That's actually a pretty good starting moveset, I won't lie. Let's have some fun with that. And I missed. Really, Riolu? Okay. Money! Poke is the this world's money. Save it to buy useful items for your adventures. Yep, I kind of get the gist of that. Also, I need to... S Gosh! Need to get used to these controls. I keep hitting the B. There we go. Whew! And we're on the second floor. Hallelujah. You can carry one item. This item you find on the floor will have very variety of useful effects. If you find an item, open the menu with X and then use the items option to see what it does. Even though I'm pretty sure I know what these items do. Now don't slap me. Oh jeez. Now I'm missing. 
I see to have missed the point. There we go. Oh boy. Adventuring with Riolu. This is the one thing I really didn't want to do. Well, I got Norinberry, which restores health. My one item inventory. That's fantastic. Hooray, episode one, and I made a Pokemon cringe already. We're doing good. And it's so weak now. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. On to the third floor. In some areas, you'll see a ground tile with a green arrow. It's called a wonder tile. Step on it to heal any stat changes. Okay. There we go. I'm figuring out these controls. It's been a while. We'll get used to this eventually. Not getting much experience, are we? Nom nom. Oh, there's a level up. Level six. New move already? Holy crap. Counter. Now, does it look like I freaking need counter? No. Nice stats, though. And Piplup, level six. All right, there we go. Okay, that's some good stuff, though. Now, let's see. How do I... There we go. <laughs> All right, 4F. And we already found the stairs. I may want to look around a little bit, though. Blast seed. Yeah. I'll take the blast seed. I could put some good use to that. We're going to be seeing a Riolu that can breathe fire! Okay. Alright, the pit. All right, you two, give that back. <laughs> uh, hey! Well, well, if it isn't our old friend, the big chicken. Uh, give me, give me back what you stole from me! That's my personal treasure, it means everything to me! Treasure, you say? So that thing really is valuable, huh? Could be worth more than that we'd hope for, I'd say. We ought to try selling it. Who knows? Might get a good price. Ho ho ho! All the more reason not to give it back. What? If you want it back that badly, come and get it. <laughs> oh, we'll fight for it. Oh, I got my sights on Zubat now. And there's a growl. Okay. Num num. Down goes the Zubat. Not coughing. I have a very special prize for you. Once I figure it out. There we go. Hee <laughs> Goodbye! You know, I read that for a sec as coughing was deflated. Which sounds more fitting. Oh, ow, oh, ow. Oh. We got roughed up. Dang right you did. But blast it. How'd we get wiped out by wimps like them? Ah, here you go. Take it then. Whoa. Don't think you're so awesome. Your victory was a fluke. Yeah, you just remember that. Now why didn't they flee over the water? Because they can levitate. I'll never get that. Oh, it's my relic fragment. Am I ever glad. I actually did manage to get it back. It's only because you agreed to help me, Richard. Thank you, Richard. 
Thank you. Seriously. I only help because I happen to be there. Was that the right thing to do? I guess so. This Pokemon is clearly grateful. It's nice to be appreciated. Here's what they stole. This is a relic fragment. Well, at least that's what I started calling it. But this relic fragment, it's my precious treasure. You see, I've always liked legends and lore. I always get so excited when I hear tales from the past. Don't you feel the same way? Hidden troves full of treasure and strange relics. Uncharted territories veiled in darkness. A new land's just waiting to be discovered. Such places must be full of unimaginable gold and treasure. And history! Wouldn't it be amazing to make historic discoveries? That's what I always dream of. It's all exciting to me. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but take a closer look. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true, there's a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like this before. There must be some significance to this pattern. This relic fragment must be the key to, to legendary places. To areas where precious treasure lies. At least, that's the feeling I get. That's why I want to join an exploration team. This fragment must fit into something, somewhere. I want to discover where it is. I want to solve the mystery of my relic fragment. So earlier I tried joining an exploration team as an apprentice. But... I chickened out. So what about you, Richard? What are you going to do now? You lost your memory and you somehow transformed into a Pokemon. Do you have anywhere to go and stay after this? If not, can I ask a big favor? Would you be willing to form an exploration team with me? I'm convinced that I can form an effective exploration team with you, Richard. So will you? Please? Whoa, what should I do? I'm getting recruited out of the blue. Considering we're both blue, that's a nice pun. I don't know what an exploration team is. What should I do? Should I join this Pokemon and form an exploration team? You know what? As much as I'm gonna, reg I'm gonna regret this being real, Lou. Form a team! It's true. I have nowhere to go. I don't have any clue where I should go next. What I should do next. I guess it wouldn't hurt to team up with Piplup for now. Maybe I'll eventually discover who or what I am by hanging out with this Pokemon. Okay, that's settled. Yes? Really? You'll form an exploration team with me? Yes! Thank you! We're gonna be a great combination. Let's make this work. First, we should go to Wigglytuff's place and sign up as apprentices. That's where we need to train and become a first-rate exploration team. I'm sure the training will be very tough. But let's give it our best, Richard. Yeah! And so, Piplup and Richard formed an exploration team. This turned out to be their very first step into many fantastic realms of adventure that awaited their arrival. All right, so this is a, this is gonna be the end of episode one. So, uh, explorers of sky, here we go. Piplup and Riolu, and I'm the Riolu. I love this. So, we will be saving because this is the end of our first step into this series. Get ready for more because this is going to be good. So, this is Richard G, and may the dragons be with you.